Thank you for tuning in to Shows and Reviews. Please enjoy. I'm sick and tired of trying to show my work and do all this stuff. So, like, if she don't see my energy and the effort that I'm putting forth at this point, then I can't I mean, hey, follow me. I'm on a show that doesn't respect me, especially at this point three years later. It's downright frustrating. To make it seem like I don't, I'm just not at it all on any level. Man, look, stop playing with me. Don't like with these people like this. What do you hear him saying? That he's upset? about that I'm not giving him credit for trying to leave. Instead of like hearing what I'm actually saying, he'll say, oh, well, you act like I just sit at home all day and don't even do nothing. That's not what I said. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I think you all are talking about branches, but you're not talking about roots. Do you think there are some roots about whether or not you see long term together as is. If the person brings all of this up for the conversation, and you oh. is that good in its present state? Is it good enough? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> it's now time to make a decision, and I've decided to change things up a bit. There'll be no first dates this week. Everyone will be going on repeat dates. You can either choose the person that you're currently dating, or you can bring back someone that you've dated before. So, Mr. Alfonso, let's start with you. <laughs> Who would you like to go on a second date with? I was thinking. I thought I had time to think. Uh, yeah, yes. Take your time. Okay. Who would you like to go on a second date with? <laughs> <laughs> um, I hadn't picked one the last day, but I'll finish. Okay. Mm, you like her because you don't know no name. You're not going to beat me yet. I can't beat you for the rules. I can't beat you. <laughs> That's good that you, you know, you got this back. No, I'm going to live. You got to die. <laughs> <laughs> So how about you? Who would you like to go out on a second date with? Um, the only person that I had a genuine and good conversation with was the son. No beginnings. And? Hopefully companionship. <laughs> Alfonso, thoughts about that? Oh, I know what you're going to say. Then let's move on to Charlena. Um, I'm going to date Chris. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so you smart and you play football. Nice. What's it gonna take? Do you need your move? I just want to talk to him. Looking forward to you going on a date with Chris. All right, Mr. Otis. Let me see. I think I'm going to go on a second date with Sure. You're looking for things in the wrong place, <laughs> and, I, and I want you to get out. Am I in the right place now? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Sounds good. Thoughts about that? Anything? <laughs> okay. Let's Thanks, Let's to Kenneth and Shorty. Kenneth, Shamaya, Maesha, or Chantrell? Maesha. Okay. Maesha? I mean, to me, you seem like the perfect catch. Wow. Why are you trying to make me bless like I'm that? I'm not trying to make me bless like I'm that. Miss Shorty? Well, I'm like everybody else. I don't have a catalog of dates. I guess I'll go out with Davey again. Mm. <laughs> I feel like if I go on a fourth date with you at this point, it's gonna be cheating. <laughs> that was you, You can have that. You can have it. I hope it is a little bit. That was you, Mom. Since we started the process, and I am really proud of you. We still have some kids here and there, but I see you making the effort. And we are inching further towards that question that you've been thinking of and maybe even arguing about. Is it time to move on? Or is it time? To put a ring on it. Alright, everybody. See you soon. Have a good one, guys. Bye bye now. 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 Bye you gonna watch how your tone is on it. Do I get in that tone? Shit? Hell no. Nah. That energy is like that. I can't do it. I shut down. I definitely don't think it's just me. I think that's a two-way thing for sure. Bargaining is a major issue for me and Ken because it has to do with respect. The respect that I need is you to be present and willing to participate in the conversation in a real way. I just want to be in good space with you. Even if we're going to let's just chill. Come back to the revisit like I've been trying to do. Do you think that you have been fairly coming back to me on your own? To initiate the conversations that you asked to put on hold? Oh, yeah. I disagree. Well, I don't got time for the challenge and petty game and stuff like that. So you don't have time to participate in them either? Exactly. I'm, like, what are you not hearing clearly? Like, I'm saying that I don't wish to partake in this activity as well. I, I said that three times. Like, come on. I'm trying to move forward. Stop having this business. Same. So I did bigger issues that she only acknowledged my strength. She only acknowledged my work. She only acknowledged how much I felt and how much I contributed to this relationship. 
make sacrifices, what can I just do overall for you? Stop lying. Be consistent in how you feel. Don't give a fake apology. Because you give a fake apology to shut me up. So what'll happen is that you'll, you'll do it again. Stop misleading me to believe that you're sorry or you're going to change a behavior that you don't think is wrong. At this point, I feel like I am putting in the work necessary and he's putting in the work necessary. So if both of us putting in the work necessary doesn't get us to where we need to be, then I think that I feel okay knowing that we both think what we can do, but it's just not a good match. Well, here's the thing for me. We have very different mindsets. I am not going to create a fantasy of happiness in my mind. I'm going to go with what's real. It's like Dr. Nicole said, are you ready to get married as is? And my answer to that question is no. I am not committed to staying with you for a hundred years when you're not giving me what I want. I'm not. I like the way that you move. You're the only one on my mind. Can we go on the second day with Tanisha and I'm over to that pod? Or possibly we'll have a great time. Not to touch water. Hi, you trying to match me, right? Come on now. <laughs> Since my first date with Alfonso, I have been thinking about him. I like to be with Alfonso. I think that our chemistry, we vibe good. He's a great person. We click. I just about to answer that. You don't know. I'm so lucky. <laughs> I was excited. Dr. Love, you had a debate. It was fun. It was funny. We had good chemistry. It was like, you're a flirt. Are you a flirt too? Yes. Are you a flirt right now? Yes. But I'm loyal. Loyal. It's just a thing. It's a little thing. I can't even put a pillow in it. He's liking me. He's liking the vibe. But he's respecting the boundaries as he should. But it's just like, it's all this temptation over here. Wait, wait. Come on now. I keep thinking that he keeps thinking about his lady and Shay, 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 Shay. Stop. <laughs> so during your like therapy sessions, are you finding more information within yourself? Yes, I'm learning a lot. I mean, which you have the open-minded to do it. But I've actually learned a lot about it. Right? So she helped me see the errors in my ways and get to the truth to fix it, you know? I appreciate it for You're a great guy. Don't tell me that. You're a great guy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You're a great guy. Because you got all this temptation in front of you. <laughs> but we have fun. We have a good time. Definitely. I mean, hopefully, you can hang out again. Right. Well, after the thing, she should tell me just the interesting thing that she may have told. That's a good thing. She's a very, very good beautiful woman. I promise her, I'm telling her, I'm telling her, she ain't discussed that. You know how you're doing, you have to wait so long. That's very good. I appreciate you coming. I'm glad you took the second date. Thank and, you. And uh, I will let you know if you're third. We'll find out. <laughs> how are you? Good to meet you. You good? You as well. Thank you. Don't be doing today. So I have a little bit of life-based stuff at the third. Life-based? Okay. She's going to take my exam on the second day because I don't play the first date significantly. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I just won't just worry about how it might make my lady feel if I expressed it. But hell, Trent and I have been in each other's neck for a while, so I'm going to just take this date. This is a date? Oh, yeah. This is so cute. I'm going to have a little camera trail, you know. One more I go through this process, and one more I know I need to express myself, be true my feelings, and I'm going to put it. Yo, that looks nice. You switched it up on me this time, huh? Yeah, like last minute. I just got this. I don't lie. You really can make me smile. I have been thinking about Kenneth because there's this whole mystery thing about him. I want more. I don't want to know what else there is to him. But I'm really surprised that Kenneth went on the second date because me and I know his girlfriend about to be a conflict of interest. I my age. So I gotta admit, when I walked in your condo and I saw Shorty standing at the door, it was real awkward. I think she's cool. I just, um, you know, the whole point is to get to know you. And that's what I'm like focused on. You know, like, oh, wow. you never know, like, where it could be. Cheers, man. <laughs> Big up. My Asian energy is good. It is like a freaking fresh ass refreshing. She has a beautiful smile. She gives you that look. She just stares at you. She makes full eye contact. She got the juice to seduce. What's the worst thing you can say you've been doing like? My transition when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. Moving to from um, Louisiana to Atlanta. My mom had, uh, she felt like Atlanta had more opportunity for her work, her job, got loose. Time had went by and I started seeing all the things, all the different things that were better for me and just the opportunities that were being presented. Mm-hmm. It was the best decision she ever made. But it was like a blessing in disguise. It was a blessing in disguise. Because I feel like sometimes God may take something from you to give you something bigger and better. That's interesting. I just wrote it to so what's going on right now? The chemistry is there. I can't say that enough. We like a lot of the same things, and I just can't wait to see what else there is. Okay. Well, you can so build these words. Like, <laughs> I'm not just me. Yeah. <laughs> no. Listen, listen, listen. Now, hard drive. Hard drive. Yeah. Okay. 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 You are something. You are something. I'm feeling good. I'm like natural, like high. My age is real short. Be like that. The world is so big. You don't have to just be content and settle, especially if you're not happy. There's always better. You just gotta be willing to accept it and go through the process. You touch your feeling. Why are you so smiling? She may think you with that smile. I don't know. It's, it's just it's the vibe. It's the vibe. I'm just here to vibe. That's a deal. You're adorable. <laughs> I really enjoyed this date, though. Like, for real. I don't really know your personality. I can see us having some real fun conversation times. Like, what? Yeah, no, I don't know how you He touchy feely. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> So I chose to go on the second date with Shereen because I didn't feel like I gave that date a fair chance. See you again. I know that she has good energy and she's fun. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm pretty open right now.
I know. I like wine taste, so this is like, this is perfect. Yeah. Get you probably a little more tipsy and a little more like talkative. <laughs> well, it's been a couple of weeks now since I have seen Otis, and during our first day, I felt like the conversations were a little surface level, but I'm hoping that, you know, at this point, I can start pulling back the layer, trying to figure out what can we both obviously get from this situation. So tell me, what have you been up to? Just work. Just work? Work. Working out. Now, do you have family in Atlanta, or are you yeah. all your family? You are my kids, right? Yeah. Now, one thing I didn't get to know about you on the last day, like, what else do you do for fun? Do you like to travel? Absolutely. Give me a talk. Let's see if I've been there. Going on another date with Chris also gives me a chance to clear up all the confusion regarding the comment that Otis made about me being weak. I would like to know what Chris has to say. We have a second date mm -hmm. and a future third date. <laughs> no, I'm not surprised we're going on a second date. I thought we had a bit of time the first date. I thought we thought well. I definitely thought Bill was interested, but this time I'm trying to kind of dig in a little bit deeper and see what she's thinking just to you know a little bit more than I did the first date. You know, I like her so yeah, I'm going to see what's up. Let me taste those sides. So, what does your family think about you going through this process? They think I'm crazy. <laughs> it's a hard thing to do. Do they think you actually like go through this? Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. But um, we're in going through it. Yeah. So, is it easy for you? Um, you know, getting women here? <laughs> do they throw themselves at you? Uh, no. I won't say they throw themselves. Oh, is it easy? When I put my mind to it, I guess it can be easy. So you, you typically get what you want. What are you trying to give me to the bad guy right now? <laughs> I definitely have my guard up with Chris because he definitely seems like a bad boy, but I want to be true to the process and I want to give him a chance. What do you not feel like you're getting from your relationship that um, makes you curious about what I have to say? The first day you were just very honest and outspoken. You was telling me all kinds of stories. And <laughs> I'm like, you know, I kind of want to hear some more. I all my stories and outspoken. Why? Until, until the third day happened. <laughs> So you know, I want to know what's, what's been going on with your relationship. How was that? I've learned a few things from my own process. Oh, she's taking you for one more dates? It is what it is. Yeah, we know it's part of the process. process right? okay. I said the same when she goes on her. So, so you don't get all? I think the biggest thing, though, as long as those guys are treating her the right way on those dates and not tripping, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. Okay. It's good. Man, I love you. Appreciate it. Well, yeah. So, you remember last time you said something about stealing me away from Otis? And he felt like it was because you probably thought that I was weak. Of course, he was saying that I think you're weak. Why do you say that? Because you don't want you to be the same to me. Chris's response was exactly what I wanted to hear from him. But I honestly don't need a man to tell me that I'm not weak. I already know who I am. If I thought that you were a person, I would be attracted to you, to be honest. I don't look at it as you need to be with your boyfriend. I look at it as I like you. There's a real attraction there. And I want to see what it can lead to. You just so happen to have a boyfriend that you're kind of working to things with. Yeah, that's how I feel about it, honestly. No, seriously, whenever um, you get that situation figured out, you know how to reach me. <laughs> Okay. Even though I had some reservations about Chris, he definitely redeemed himself on this date. It was a fun day, and I would probably consider another date with him. Girl, shut up. Let's continue now, okay? I hear you. I thought I was going to be up the way. <laughs> I feel sure he's definitely interested in me because he wouldn't be here on the fourth date, but now I need to really see and dig in what's going on and what she's trying to do and see where her thought process is after the last date. I'm going to put some pressure on you real quick. Okay. So, you feel like there's things that you learned about yourself in this process? Yeah. You feel like things that you need to change in this process to mm -hmm. get yep. Yeah. As much respect as I want and I demand all the time, I don't really be treating him with the, with the same respect. Thing, yeah. yeah. Now you kind of know what to do moving forward in the next relationship or the next situation that you get into. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like as a person you've kind of leveled up a little bit? Yeah, and I'm looking forward to leveling up even more. Katie has shown me that my desire to control people and put expectations on them has led me to be where I am right now. I really need to allow people to be who they are and then gravitate towards the people that I vibe with rather than picking a person and then trying to mold them to fit my idea of what I need them to be. Like, what's the time? Oh, oh, yeah. Like, what's the time that you get? That's always been my ultimate question, you know? It's like, well, it's how much time? Yeah, what yeah. is enough enough? What I'm starting to realize is that there might not be an exact time. Yeah, it sounds to me like you have an idea where you want to go. Where do I stand in this process, like as you said? For the rest of this process, mm -hmm. I'm about to put the focus on myself, on what I want to do, 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 what I want to
Why do you want to show me? I love that dude because you choose me. You should be in a choice. Why are you in a relationship you didn't choose you? What did he say? I got set up to get that down. But you know, I'm happy for it. Alright, well, um, we gotta tell these shows. Alright, well, okay. I got set up to get that down. But you know, I'm happy for it. Alright, well. Let me get this great vibes, great conversation to get to the point now where I messed up. I kind of got set up to get that down. But you know, Oh, you know what you signed up for. We gotta tell these shows. And we'll talk to on road. Progress. 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 Before meeting with Target, I'm really nervous that I was probably not going to show up. Mainly because during our birthday, we had a little mishap. Like, no, nah, you like being on TV. He's going to show up. 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 He's going to
Well, thank you for sharing that. Appreciate you both. And that's really just, Shorty, that's it. It was on your fourth date with Tavy. Tell us about it. My fourth date with Tavy was good. We just had a bite to eat and just kind of caught up over, you know, the past dates that we had from the jump. You know, he, he wanted to have a, what are we doing talk, you know? And rightfully so, you know, I'm always saying how great of a time I'm having. So at that point, I just let him know what's up, you know? That I'm trying to work it out. Like, I'm trying to work it out until the last moment of working it out. So despite the connection that we have and, you know, how much fun we're having, that it's not making me want to jump ship at this at this moment. We are nearing the end of this process and I am not really hopeful. But Girl, I you said you were choosing yourself. My feelings are all over the place and I'm just trying to figure out what I want. Mr. Kenneth, you asked my Asia out on a second date. Tell me how the date went. It was real nice. So flat out, look, I, I, I downplayed you a little bit. I downplayed you a lot. Because I was, you know, trying to protect my feelings. And also, my ladies as well. I didn't want to hit me. And I'll brag about somebody that was cool. Are you glad that you gave her a second date? I am. You know, it's another female. You know, like, this girl was like, she was happy, happy to see me. You know, trying she to win. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. And it was just good to be feeling good. And it was just a good reality check. It just felt good for this woman to just be like, just like nice to me and just like genuinely like feeling me and it didn't feel like it was fake or anything. So you're just gonna sit here and just really round over while I'm sitting right here next to you? But the first date wasn't on that? But this one was on that? Okay. I'm gonna try to put my mind Girl, you do it to him all the time. I want her to hit it. I want it to hurt. I want it to hurt. <laughs> 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 Mr. Kim, are you glad that you gave her a second date? Oh. I was way more relaxed and stuff like compared to all the other things. I was like, you know what? I'm in it for real this time here. I'm going to try to put my mind like I wouldn't even in a relationship for a second night first just, just to just get the full experience of it. I was going to blame it on alcohol at the end of it all. You had to blame it on alcohol. So you had to act like you were not in a relationship in order to have a good time on your date? All right. Keep acting like you're not in a relationship and you might really find yourself not in a relationship. Oh, Is there a tat. difference between the interaction that you had with her and some of what's going on at home with you and Shorty at this point? Well, I'm at home, you know, my lady. Hell, <laughs> she mad at me a lot of the times and stuff like that, so I don't really get to see that happening. It's just so good, but this one is just be like nice to me and just like genuinely like feeling me and it didn't feel like it was fake or anything. Going through this process with Shorty, I thought my picture was looking good with as far as us being together with everything that's going on now. I just don't know anymore. Shorty, what you think? I'm glad that he's being more honest this time about having a good time. Sounds like he might have had an okay time the first time too, but he just didn't relay that. So it's good to hear him coming into a more honest space because you can work with honesty. If somebody's saying something, you know it's the truth, then you know what you're working with. Okay, so... Oh, you met up with Sharif for a second date? Yes. How'd it go? It went good. Flirtation, funny, my other one. Mm -hmm. She was cool. Conversation was good. Energy was good. It was good time. When you went out with her the first time, I think I remember something like you thinking you might not have given your full attention or really a fair mm -hmm. shot as it related to the date. Yeah. What do you think was different this time? That was five days in to this process now, so maybe I was a little more open to it. Conversation might have flowed a little differently, and I didn't have as much of a warmth up, I guess. Miss Charlena, you went out with Chris for a second time. Yes. He's really cool and laid back. The date went really well. Um, he just is very comfortable and sure of himself, and I saw more of that this date than I did the first date. And it's actually, it's attractive. What did you learn about yourself on this date? A lot of irony on the week, but... <laughs> He said, uh, no, 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 I don't think that about you at all. That's one of the reasons why I like you, because I think you're dope. And I was like, oh, okay, that's nice. I like you. I had to. I had to. I had to. I had to. But it was a good date. Overall, it was a really good date. Well, thank you all for sharing. It sounds like there were some really good dates this week. I'm glad to see you're still learning and growing through the process. So it's on to decision time. This week's dates are your final dates. So this is the last time you have the opportunity to ask yourself a most important question before you decide whether or not to put a ring on it. So in this week, you can continue getting to know the same person on another date. Or you cannot go on a date and focus on your own relationship. So Alfonso, let's start with you. And then I'm on a second date with Tanisha. Will she be getting a third? Mm. No. <laughs> Not really, just you. Focus on us. Okay. Nisha? Impossible. Because I mean, temptation. You protect yourself. <laughs> just kidding. Miss Shay, you went out on a second date with Mr. Osar. Will he get a third date? Osar <sighs> is very nice. Out of all the dates, he is someone I would date. Oh my God. But <laughs> I would want Fonzo to take me on a date. So okay. I'm going to focus on my own relationship. And, you know, since this is a final time for a decision making, I would like my opportunity to see, do I want to continue to date him? I don't want Fonzo to feel like, oh, he's just completely out of the wood because it's not the truth. We have so much to work on, and I'm still unsure if he's really willing to put in the work. I'm really hoping that Fonzo will take everything that Dr. Nicole has taught him and put it into practice. Because here I am, still stuck in limbo. Okay, what do you think about that, Mr. Alfonso? I would love to go on a date my baby. Mm -hmm. We have a conversation with you. All right. So let's move on to Kenneth. You went on a second date with my Asia. Will she get a third date? Oh. Uh, no, no, I don't think I'm gonna get a third date. Um, I just really wanna focus on what I have right now. True, true. Shorty, you went out on a fourth date with Tavy. Will he get a fifth date? Or would you like to focus on your relationship? At this point, um, I'm gonna give poor Tavy a break. He boy said he wants a little more, and I think that he deserves it. And I know that I'm not in a situation to give it to him. So I'm gonna take this week to concentrate on my relationship and figure out some more stuff, you know, that we can get on the same page about. Okay. Charlena? You went out on a second date with Chris. Will he be given a third date? I would like to focus on my relationship with Mr. Otis. I think we've been doing really good lately, so I'm happy about that. But I also think that I would like to have a closure date with Chris. You've got to be kidding me. 
I just can't imagine what it is you need to close with this guy. Uh, I feel like you can just move on and get back to us. I just don't don't see the point here. I really don't. Mr. Otis, what are your thoughts about that? You know what? I think Sheree deserves a third day. Ha ha! Tip and tip. Thanks for there's still some arguing, so I am a little worried. I hope Otis is getting together. How do you feel in it? So I'm scared. Am I setting myself up emotionally for the same thing again? I'm trying. Maybe for my families. I know you have a call that you gotta make. Until Fonzo really addresses the elephant in the room, I can't think about an engagement. Oh, you know, basically, all the fun that is. I did something wrong with Yes, you did cut me off. Yes, you did, but we gotta wait. But I'm left broken. I'm thinking about it for all, but I am just. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like f- marriage at this point. Mm-hmm. This is what you bring to the table. I don't give a f- what you feel like I bring to the table. You, know, you, you look like a father. I, 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 I feel wonderful. Seeing him drinking makes me think that maybe some of that liquid courage is what has him losing his mind right now. I ain't felt so free so much. <laughs> Welcome to the real candy. <laughs>